And this is the lightning mail, which, uh, as you may imagine, is just lightning armor, essentially. Um, with kind of mediocre protection. Hey guys, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. When we last left off, we were exploring the reverse castle, collecting parts of Vlad. Now, um, I have got us up to level 38. I've also, from grinding these guys, stumbled across a new weapon, which apparently is quite a rare drop by all accounts. And that is this two-handed... You know what? These things are kind of annoying when you lose track of them. Right, yeah. So, this weapon, I found it from grinding endless amounts of these Black Panthers. It is the Masa... Masa Mune or something? Legendary Masa Mune Katana. Apparently, it's one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Uh, and I got it completely by accident. It seems to just do insane amounts of damage. It is as it's got a huge attack radius as well. And on top of that, uh, oh dear, I don't know why I'm suddenly throwing all of that everywhere. On top of that, it puts our attack up to 103 damage, which it was somewhere around 40 before. So it's not necessarily a fast weapon. But it's kind of disgusting in its own right. And we're going to be enjoying this for a while. Anyway, we've got some more of Vladdy Boy's... Wow, he just did 90 damage to us. I'm assuming as well that this sword um, seems to massively drop our defense, which appears to be a thing. Because we're taking way more damage than we should be from everything. Anyway, there's the Tower War which is another weapon, but I've never used it, so I cannot say how well or effective it is. Our sword familiar. Actually, that's a good question. What level is our sword familiar? He's level 10 already, which is quite nice. Unfortunately, familiars do take a absolute age to uh, level up, sadly, but it is what it is. Right, panther time. Oof, that was iffy. Yeah, these the hitbox on these guys, I don't quite understand it. Even though I've been fighting loads of them. It seems to be completely random whether you actually get hit by them or not. Which is a little bit strange, but we'll roll with it. I think there's actually quite a few of these guys around here. Yes, yes there is. To the point where, you know, I might just fly away from them. Because they're not worth, like, any XP anymore, sadly. And our health is kind of concerning at this point. Still, more items to find. Have a smart potion, which, sure. A mana prism. I don't think there's anything that interesting in here. Oh, yes, there is. <laughs> there's a max life upgrade. Of course there is. I thought that was further up for some reason. There's a new enemy around here. When we get here. These guys. And they... Aren't much to worry about, to be honest. Sniper of Goth. But every now and again, they do drop some decent loot. So we're going to enjoy that when we can. Now... We go through here and equip our spike breaker. We can find another piece of armor. I think it's armor anyway. No, it's a cloak. And I'm guessing, like, if we didn't buy this cloak, it might have been a good one. It is the Twilight Cloak. And that, my friends, is a black cape for vampires. It actually puts our... Interesting. Let's put it on. Because apparently it's... It is slightly better. 
so we'll keep this one. Puts our con up by one point. That's it. And it's still black and red, so I'm still happy. Although it's just like inverted colors, but we'll roll with it. Ooh, one second. My bad, I thought that was the door. Apparently it wasn't. Okay, so yeah. Not bad, Kate. Or cloak, I guess they call it in this game. All right, let's go deal with these guys. Ooh, dropped a magic missile for us. Don't mind if I do. Now we're just going to keep ascending. Unfortunately, we do have to fill out this entire area. Which means going over both sides. Otherwise, you don't get the completion. Which is kind of odd, but we'll roll with it. There we go. That's the tower explored. Now, we do have an objective for this video. We're going to go take another piece of Vladdy Boy back. Okay, now this area gets a little bit more dangerous because we've got these guys and we've got the small guys. These small guys are intensely frustrating, but they go down relatively easy until they start deciding to have a little bit of a charge around. That's the dangerous part of them. Now, these guys will flicker in and out of um, the ethereal realm when they spawn in. Unfortunately, they do hurt. Got a bit of a funny hitbox on them as they're spawning in. Once they've spawned in, they're fine, but it's a little bit weird. Anyway, let's keep going higher and higher. So, we have some options. If we go, well, technically, we could go for two bosses here. But I think in the interest of saving a little bit of time, we're just going to go for one. We'll explore this room and then what we shall do. Um, yeah, you know what? We'll just go to the go to the area that I've explored and played for now then we know where we are and I guess we're going to be grinding up these guys for a little bit of cash I do mean a little bit of cash oh these imps suck balls They're fiddly little creatures as you'd expect imps to be to be honest sniper of goth get out of here Okay, almost where we need to be. Let's kill you. I don't think these guys are actually giving us like any real experience. And to be honest, I don't think anything is giving us any real experience anymore. Ooh, I kind of like the way the bat looks now. The red inner wings. He looks cool. Okay, let's keep going this way. Definitely want to refill that heart container if we can. Because the next enemy we're going to fight is really, really, really um, easy. Okay. Just keep checking my map, make sure we're okay. Now remember these guys. Now these flying zombies are new. If we attack them, they kind of separate. And they can be interestingly tough actually um, those Cthulhu guys that were in the original uh, castle they return but they're not actually any stronger than they were which I thought was a little bit interesting they're still just as weak as always one hit sees them defeated pretty handily actually now these zombies actually do a decent amount of damage to us if we let them which, of course, we intend not to let them. But sometimes they do get lucky. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. I love it when everything goes as planned. Apart from turning into a... God damn it. You know what? That's okay. 
We'll be bat form for a while. Now these legs, luckily. Ooh. I I don't know how I did that, but that was cool. I don't know if that's a unique ability of this weapon. Not sure. I need to do some uh, research on this weapon, actually. But it does seem, from the quick bit of research that I've done, it is just disgustingly overpowered. And I'm okay with that. Now, remember these guys. This was kind of uh, a main boss before, if I remember. At least something very, very similar. Now, they are wheat before the scythe. I don't know how much XP they're worth. We've got 3,400 XP needed. I'm going to guess they're not worth, like, bugger all. Yeah, they're literally worth nothing. So, they're pointless to fight. Unfortunately, I think a lot of enemies kind of, once you've leveled up a bit, fall into that category where they're no longer worth fighting. No longer worth our time. But that's okay. That's okay, we just need to hunt out stronger opponents. And that we will. Right, let's keep moving. There's a shuriken. Nope. Come on. There we go. Shuriken, I don't know how good that is, to be honest. I uh, don't think I've actually ever used one. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. Anyway, on to the boss. We have this chap, which literally gets destroyed and completely dusted by holy water. You know, when I was doing some research on this game, um, I did, well, at least as far as I understood, the reverse castle was significantly tougher um, than the first castle. But, I mean, not really? I don't know whether we're just at a point where we're overleveled, but I haven't really been doing any grinding or anything, you know, too s specific to actually increase our level. Apart from, you know, grinding a few levels out here and there, but nothing crazy. Anyway, because the thing is, you're going to level up just by playing this game really you're just gonna you know get all the levels you need i know you can get to a maximum of level 100 i believe but from what i can understand that's actually quite a tall order so that's this place pretty much mapped out excellent let's head back and explore the next room see what we can find hopefully just hopefully find some more equipment. Might as well body bag these guys for no other reason than to just get them out of our face. The game always slows down like crazy when there's loads of explosions and effects going on. I'm guessing that's just a limitation of the PlayStation hardware. And I know we're playing on an emulator, but it does emulate, you know, the PlayStation hardware. Okay. Right, so we can go down there, and there is like an aquamarine down there. But we need to fully explore this area to get our completion rating up. Now, to get all the completion rating, uh, that's done on how many rooms you've visited. Now, each room is technically one square of the map. So it's a little bit curious, to say the least. Unfortunately, we do have these Medusa heads as well. The yellowy ones, yellow-orange ones. They suck because they will turn us into stone. We don't really want that when we're flying around as Vladdy Boy the Bat. Not that we're Vladdy Boy. Alucard the Bat, I should say. Whoop, almost. Now, the maximum completion uh, percentage, from what I can understand, is 200.6%. Now, if we come in through here, 
we can find some actual Alucard armor. The Alucard mail. Now, if we look at our defense, it's zero. So that is a um, downside of this Masamune sword. But, you know, restores 500 hearts use. That's actually pretty powerful, to be fair. Um, do we want to swap out our armor? You know, probably not, because I'm just enjoying being as disgustingly powerful as we possibly can be. Uh, we probably don't need the holy glasses anymore. So let's see if there's anything else that would give us a decent buff. Restores HP by poison damage. That actually sounds almost useful. Almost. Velvet hat. Tanned leather hat. I don't think these hats are really that worth it. But that gives our int quite a boost of five. So we'll stick those. We'll stick that on. For sure. Um, we also... We should probably... You know what? We could actually... Swap our armor out for the Alucard mail because it resists fire, lightning, and ice. And it's so good, I guess, it actually gives us a plus two to our defense. So, you know what? Let's slap that on. Why the devil not? Okay, so we are basically done with this area. Now, if we come down here. There's another save room. And we are absolutely going to take advantage of said save room. <clears throat> and then we can continue our devastation downwards. Let's go. Whilst our sword friend is having a really good time, we're just going to leave him to it. No. I think the holy water is just brokenly powerful. Oh, hello. Ghost Dancer. Curious. Can we use the Spike Breaker here? I'm going to assume so. Of course we can. Excellent. Nice to see this uh, getting quite a bit of use, actually. I approve. Because we've got plenty of health to damage to, um, you know, cancel out the fact that our defense has now dropped to zero. Usually in games, I like having a decent strong defense. But we'll take it. Grab up a mana prism. We shall keep going. Grab ourselves... A luck potion. Ah, oh, there is a shield potion here. Okay, I didn't think there was anything in that one. Very curious. Now, if we go this way, I believe this just takes us back to, if memory serves, a teleport room. Aye, teleport room. Cool, we don't need to worry about that. So let's keep pushing forwards, always forwards, but not all form forwards. Ah, hello, ghost dancers. Ooh, that hurts. So we have like an evolved form. Ooh, this guy is really hurting. An evolved form of Cthulhu. That's interesting. Oof. Not today. These dancers. Oh, dear. Those dancers actually do significant damage. So that's certainly something to watch out for. Now, are these guys actually giving us any real experience? The answer is no, not really. Unfortunately. Right now. Ah, we're back into this room with swords. Sword guy is still there. 
but not as he once was. Ooh. Curious. Let's see if we can get up here and dance with this guy. I'm guessing he is crazy powerful. Try and lure him back over here a little bit. Come on, douche nozzle. Can't fight you if you're in the wall. Ooh. Yeah, he hurts. Oh, Lord, he hurts. Uh, let's... You know, we could swap back, I suppose, and start using some armor, because actually that's getting a little bit iffy. We can always swap over, I suppose... Walk armor, yeah, put our armor back up to 30. Yeah, because we're... Oof, that hurts. That really freaking hurts, man. Pork bun. Chinese pork bun. Okay, let's use that. 17 health, really? Kind of... Ooh, let's go for a sirloin. Now that looks pretty good. Okay. Ooh. Damn. This guy's... Powerful. Definitely doing significantly less damage now. So we only have to, like, tap into his sword and it hurts. Is this guy even worth fighting? That would be my question. I'm going to say probably not. Where's all our healing items? Grapes? All right. Let's go have some grapes. Five health. But then I suppose grapes wouldn't be that great for a vampire, to be honest. Shiitake mushrooms. Ooh, that's a little bit better. There we go. Ooh, piece of cheese. 18. Still way off. These healing items aren't that great, are they? Got some high potions, which restores about half of our health. Let's have a frankfurter. 19 health. Yeah, these little food items that you find are dotted around just aren't that great. Eggs, toast, and coffee. Ooh, that's nice. What about a banana? Should we have a banana? Seven health. Pointless. All right, well, whatever. Let's get our holy sword back up, and I guess we will go back to a shield as well. My kingdom for some categories here. Now I've got no idea how much health this guy's got left. Oof. Ow. Fuck. <coughs> okay, he is dispatched. And I'm guessing, yeah, he was worth, like, not really a lot of health. Uh, not really a lot of experience, so. Kind of redundant, really. Um, come on. There we go. Where should we be heading next? Ooh. Evening. We're still doing a decent amount of damage to this guy. But he's doing way less damage to us. Which is nice. What else we got in here? Let's get rid of these dancers. Nice. Sword of Hadol and an opal. I'm not sure what the other thing was that we picked up there, but it matters not. Anyway, I've just noticed that we're on like 25 minutes. So I'm going to drop a save here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And when we come back, well... I guess we've got a hell of a lot of choices, to be honest. So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.